Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Tim. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can easily record your screen for free on Mac and Windows devices. To get started, we're going to use Veed's online screen recorder. So simply head over to your browser, type in v.new and click on record. Or you can also click on the first link in the description. So now we're in Veed's online screen recorder and you don't need to create an account so you can instantly get started. Now you're prompted to choose a layout. So as you can see, there are a bunch of options you can choose from camera only, audio only, screen and camera, slides, whatever you prefer in this case i'm going to select camera and once you're starting it up it could be the case that your browser here is asking for permission to use your camera and microphone so simply allow it by clicking on allow and now as you can see my webcam is portrayed from here you can actually already start recording but if you take a look at the bottom you can see the screen recording menu now on the left side of the menu you can turn elements on and off before and during your recording for instance if i click on the camera icon i can turn it off and if i click on it again i turn it on same counts for audio and the same counts for screen screen and slides. Now talking about screen and slides, you can share your screen during your screen recording, which I will show you in a bit, but you can also upload your PowerPoint projects, keynotes and PDFs. So simply select slides if you want to upload a project and click on upload file and select a project you want to add. You select it and click on open. From here, you can easily record your video presentations and lectures. So feel free to try it out. However, in this example, I'm going to show you how you can share your screen and record it. So to make this happen, head over to the screen in the menu and you can choose the entire screen. You can choose a certain window or you can choose a certain Chrome tab. In this case, I'm selecting the Hammerhead Shark Wikipedia page. I'm going to select it and click on share. Now, in this case, I'm automatically taken to this specific page. And as you can see on the top, it says sharing this tab to v.io. You can stop sharing from here or view the tab on v.io if you want to see yourself at the same time. In this case, I want to do that. So I'm going to click on view tab. And as you can see, my face is on the left bottom and the screen is being shared. Now, before we start recording, if you head over to themes and background, you can spice up your screen recordings and change the structures, add colors, whatever you prefer. And mind you, you can actually change everything, the structure later on if you prefer with Veed's online video editor. So don't worry, it's not permanent. And also as a bonus, if you prepared something, you can use the prompter or notes option. You can basically add your script or bullet points if that helps you throughout your presentation. And then before you start recording under the settings menu, make sure the right camera and microphone is selected and then you can start recording. And now to start your screen recording, click on the start recording button in the right top corner, wait until the countdown is finished and you can start start presenting. During your screen recording, you can pause and resume it. You can retake it or you can click on stop to finalize the recording. After the screen recording is rendered, you can watch it back on the bottom and you can choose to edit and export your video. If you click on edit, you'll be taken to Veed's online video editor and you can change the structure, the background, the sizing, the aspect ratio. You can trim the video and cut out every single mistake or empty spaces. You can add subtitles, music, text, whatever you like. And then if you want to export and download your video, head over to the export button in the right top corner. Choose your preferred render settings and make sure burn subtitles is enabled if you added subtitles and then click on export video. And after the video is rendered, head over to the download button in the right top corner, click on download MP4 and it should be in your downloads folder. However, if you want to get rid of the watermark and want to have more editing abilities, more screen recording time, etc., etc., make sure to make an account and feel free to consider one of the plans that Veed has to offer. It's amazing. You won't regret it. So I highly recommend you watching our pricing page. For now, thank you so much for watching. Good luck and have a nice day.